In this box, I have the most expensive bag that this brand offers, and this is my second one. Stay tuned to see what it is. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube home page where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. So in this box, the most expensive bag from, well, it looks like it's from Dooney and Burke, but it's not. And if you've watched my channel for very long, I bet you can guess which brand it is from. Let's take a look. Also, there's going to be a surprise inside because everything from this brand comes with a surprise inside. Open this up, the receipt, and here it is. Here's how it's packaged, styrofoam with a sticker. I always save the stickers. There's a sticker on that side where the seam is. There's also a sticker on the back. And I save these and stick them onto the receipt just to have it because they have some information about the bag. The one on the front here says the brand name. It has a drawing of the bag. It says security label and made in Italy. All right, we're opening it and we are revealing the bag. This is the large zipped tote from Henry's Leather Company in the color taupe. Let me get the tags off and I'll give you a spin and a tour of the bag. We won't do a what fits on this because everything is going to fit. This will hold your laptop and whatever else. It's a big tote, obviously. Here's the little Henry's label. It has the price tag inside. It says zip top tote in taupe, $600. Now that is not what I paid. I only ever buy these bags when they're 30% off, which happens pretty often. And when it does, I always tell you guys about it through my community posts. So make sure you're subscribed so you can see those. Each Henry's bag comes with a little metal tag with the Henry's logo there in orange, and it's attached with a leather piece. So let me give you a little spin of this. There's the front of the bag and the side, the back of the bag. You can see there's a big pocket inside because you can see the stitching. There's the other side and the front again and the bottom. And you do have four feet on the bottom. The metal tag comes with a protective sticker and there are two safety mechanisms to keep this bag nice and secure. One is this tab which comes on every Henry's bag. This is signatures to Henry's. So you pull this down, goes over this little tongue and then you pull it out to the side. And then you just flip that back. And then on this bag, because as we said, it's the large zip tote, there's a zipper. Surprise, surprise. That's not the surprise, by the way. This has a nice long leather zipper pull. And it's not just a zip across the top from end to end. It's one of those where you have those leather flaps. So the bag doesn't become triangular shaped. It can be wider at the top like it is at the base. So let's unzip that. Open her up. The dust bag is right on the top. They do really nice cloth dust bags with a leather patch that says Henry's. Remove the stuffing. And here is the interior of the bag. Now this is what I was talking about with the surprise because Henry's is a company where they have revamped their lines a few times throughout the life of the brand. And part of that revamping was changing up the interiors. So you never quite know when you order something which interior you're going to get. My understanding is the original ones were suede. They were just the other side of the leather. And then they moved, at least for some bags, to kind of a camel brown interior. I'll show you an example of that and of the suede. This one has the yellow interior, which is personally my least favorite. Yellow just isn't my color. It's a very pastel yellow. Nothing wrong with it. It's a nice smooth leather. And you can see the construction down there with the rivets on the bottom. So the leather's just folded over. It looks like it's created from two pieces of leather. You've got the one on the front that folds over to the bottom. And then you've got another piece on the back that attaches on the sides and the bottom, plus the leather on the straps. From everything I've seen about the Henry's bags, the stitching is always impeccable. The leather is impeccable. I have two other bags from Henry's in the taupe color. And I know at least one of them, the leather is really different. So I'll show you those. But let's also finish going over the interior of the bag. So on the inside of the front, what you have is this little plate and it says Henry's. Henry's Leather Company, made in Italy. And then on the other side, you have this giant pocket. Now, one thing that might be a little annoying to some people is when you lift that flap where the zipper is, this pocket is actually a big slit pocket in the back. And the only way you can access that is by lifting that zipper. But that also makes it more secure. 
And then on that pocket, there are two smaller pockets. You can see one there and one over here. There's also a little orange tag in there that says Henry's. And on the back of it, it says made in Italy. And by the way, that metal plate inside the bag, which is the back of the mechanism on the front, also has a plastic protector on it. This plate does not. The straps here are nice and long. Now I can't get my elbow through, you can see there, but just use your other hand and get it over your shoulder that way. And then it's really comfortable. They're not the thickest straps in the world in terms of width, so they're not the widest, but they're not as narrow as the never full straps. The back of the bag is stamped Henry's made in Italy. And one thing I didn't show you is inside that slit pocket in the back, is a card and this reads all henry's bags are crafted from the highest quality french calf leathers and superior italian hardware this bag was made in italy by lino and has undergone thorough inspection and approval by loredana and some of that is written by hand so my understanding is that these henry's bags are made by one artisan in italy or some other bags are also made in the united states we throw this on my shoulder again and show you a quick mod shot while we're doing that. And then I'll show you comparisons with some of the other Henry's bags. So there we are. It's a nice big tote. And let me give you dimensions because the website does not have those. And it has also come in navy, which is not currently on the website. But this is my navy one, so you can see that, see what it looks like. It's a beautiful bag as well. This was the first one I got, obviously. Got it as a work tote. I love it. The leathers, again, beautiful. And these leathers are not over-processed. Some leathers and this is pretty common, we will have like a coating on them and be stamped. These, it's very clear that they haven't done a lot to the leather. They don't have a lot of coating. And from what I can tell, the grain of the leather has not been stamped because on mine, and I don't think this will show up on camera, but in certain light, you can see some veining in the leather here, which is a good sign that not much has been done to the original leather. My blue one does also have that yellow interior, by the way. Okay, I said I'd give you dimensions like 20 minutes ago. It is 14 inches across the bottom, five inches deep, and 11 inches high, so it's sizable. It does not have a compartment inside to fit your laptop, but it's gonna fit almost any laptop. Now let's peek at the two other interiors that I've seen from Henry's. Here is the large bucket bag. You can tell it's very floppy. And that's because based on my understanding of the different iterations that they've done of these bags, that this is one of the first. Because this has that suede inside of it. So leather base, but then the inside is just the back of the leather. This is another bag I have from Henry's. This is the Tulip Tote. And this is more recent than that last one. And it has this smooth, more of a camel brown interior. That's leather. And obviously this is taupe, as is the bag that I just unboxed. And they have a few different taupes, or at least two that I know of. This bag I purchased pretty recently in terms of when I bought this one, they, I bought them pretty close together. So I was thinking since this has that brown leather, which I really like, although the suede is definitely my favorite, I thought maybe this one would also have the brown leather. So I'm a little disappointed that it's that yellow leather, but you know, it is what it is. But these two taupes, as you can see, are the same color. I'm gonna show you another taupe from Henry's in a second that's different. And to feel these, they feel the same too. They're both very nice, soft, supple leathers. This one, on the other hand, this was the first bag that I ever got from Henry's, or one of two maybe. It also has that yellow interior. This is the fold-over bag. It has a crossbody strap inside. This taupe leather is different from this one. You can see just by looking at them that the fold-over taupe is darker, but it also feels different. The fold-over taupe isn't quite as soft to the touch, and it happens to have a smaller grain that could just be the particular cow. They're both nice leathers, but this one, in my opinion, I like it a lot more. This one, when I first got it, I was disappointed with the feel of it and considered sending it back, but I'm glad I kept it because when this pops up, it sells out really quickly and it goes out of stock for a long time. In my experience so far, the zipped tote and the tulip tote behind me tend to stay in stock a lot better. So that is my latest purchase from Henry's. This is their most expensive bag, but at $600 full price and about 400 when it's on sale for 30% off, it's very reasonable. And the quality of these is luxury quality. So 100% worth the price. And I will have Henry's linked below so you can go check them out for yourself and see what is available. Thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time and I hope you have a fantastic day.